Hi, my name is Scott Thompson, and today I'm going to show you how templates are created in Arbor Text Editor and maintained in Winchell Service Information Manager. Um, Arbor Text Editor comes with a variety of templates that can be found under the New menu. Um, you can certainly add to this list. Um, so what we're seeing here are different categories. The first one would be my Winchell Sandbox and the product that I'm connected to. Um, so these are templates that are stored on the Winchell server, and I will show you how those are created and stored and managed in Winchill. Um, before I do that, let me show you some examples of templates that can be maintained in the system. Um, so here I have a concept for the technical information application, DTD, and you can see I can also create sample documents or templates, and when I hit OK, it will open in the XML editing environment. Um, so what a template is would be an XML structure that is either partially built out or um, completely built out, uh, however it would like to look. So the first part of this concept, if I increase the font size, you can see is um, we have our top level tag. Um, this concept came in with a language populated and you can see it has a save ID that will be generated the first time this is saved, giving this document a unique identifier. Um, this is a very basic um, document. Um, I can come in here and remove everything. Um, so if I really wanted a small template, um, I could just start with just my concept tag. And then using our text editor, I could come in and, and place the rest of the, the information um, uh, for this document. Um, to save this back as a template, I, I simply save it as an XML file and place it in my templates directory. Um, let's take a look at a template I've created and I have locally on my computer and we will save it to Windchill throughout our process today. Um, so here's the topic template um, I have and um, let me bring that window back up. You can see this is a .data file. So this is really just the core XML um, that I'm saving here. There's no template file format. Um, and if I open this up in Arbor Text Editor, um, you can see this is a template that has um, maybe a little bit more um, built out, a little more structure here. And in this template, I've inserted these templates tags, which you can click on, they highlight, and you could come in and um, uh, type in your title. So. Um, to work with the templates, there are tools here, um, so I can place in those placeholder tags. We'll put that one back in. Um, you can see here I have a sample sections, um, some several sections built out. Um, I can add in really whatever I want to, so if I'd like to bring in something like a term table, um, this item has template tags that come um, with the table. Um, so again, prompting authors of what they're supposed to <coughs> author and where in the document. Um, uh, I am connected to my Windchill server at the moment, and um, all I need to do to start managing this document on the server side is, is save it into Windchill, and then we'll use Windchill commands to manage um, our template library. Um, it, so let, let me go ahead and do that. There's a command here that uh, I can use called save as server object, and that will save my new document up into Windchill. And um, let me give this a, a name since we'll be searching for that. We'll call this our, our template video topic. And I will say OK, and this will check itself into Windchill. Now, as that's checking in here, um, we can see again, um, we now have a document checked into Windchill. Um, let me navigate over to the Windchill side and talk a little bit about templates there. Um, so uh, on the Windchill side, um, we can manage templates for different types of documents at different levels. Um, so for instance, I could create a template specific to a certain product. Um, or if I have access to the site utility, um, I can manage templates at a site level as well. Um, so for today's example, we'll do it in the context of my bus product. And if I go to my templates, um, there's a drop down here and you can see 
here are different types of templates that Windchill can maintain. So there's CAD document templates, change object templates, and, and so forth. Um, when talking about technical authoring or XML, um, that would be a dynamic document type in Windchill. So here are the um, templates that we saw. Um, and the ones that pertain to XML, um, we saw referenced in ArborText Editor. So here's our um, ArborText concept, and apologies for the small window. I just wanted to pull that up next to um, my file new menu. And so we can see if I go back to my bus, you can see here are those ArborText templates rendered, and this is where they're being maintained in Windchill. So I'll zoom in a little bit here. Um, so to create a new template, I simply say that I would like to create a new template. And um, in this case, I'm gonna look for a source object. And what I'm looking for is the XML document with the template fields that I was just displaying that we just dis um, saved uh, back into Windchill. Um, so if I can pull that up. And so here's our template video topic that we just pulled in. So that is the object I would like to create my template from. And it's as easy as that. I can create my new topic template. So here's my template video topic. And um, if I refresh, when we pull down a new list here, um, you will see that topic in our text editor. So let me close out of editor here, open it, and take a look at that um, template list. So we'll connect back to my Windchill server. and pull down a, a fresh list of templates. So here's my video topic template. And again, I can say okay, and it will pull down a new document for me. And here is that document that we just looked at. Um, the, another way you can get templates for documentation in Windchill is you can create objects from a template and then assign them out to um, an author. So I can say that I would like a new, and I can say a new textual information element. And then I can come in here and select um, the appropriate template. Um, that I would like to use. So here's my video topic template, and I can give that a name, and then I will create a generic document based off of that template um, inside of Windchill. So here's that new document, um, and then this could be opened in Arbor Text Editor or assigned out to an author. Okay, uh, thank you, um, and uh, have a great day.